During this Women's History Month, we've been taking a look at the pioneers of yesterday and today. Tonight, we head to the gridiron to meet an NFL executive making her own history as she tackles the male-dominated sport. Here's CBS's Dania Backus. Being a Raider is about as cool as, as it can get. Not just cool, trailblazing. <laughs> Sandra Douglas Morgan is president of the Las Vegas Raiders, the first black woman to lead an NFL team, a job she's now held for eight months. Do you feel like you've had to prove yourself in a way that maybe your male counterparts haven't? I felt like I had to prove myself to myself. I don't have to prove myself to others. Douglas Morgan has long tackled barriers and broken through, becoming the first black city attorney in Nevada and in the male-dominated casino industry, chairing the gaming control board, another first. Doing it all got her there. I think we know um, as moms, you know, you could pack a diaper bag, pack a lunch, have everything planned, and something is not going to go as planned. And I think those kind of skills definitely transfer into running a sports team or running an organization. Douglas Morgan says she's proud to be a role model, but it's not enough. Success for me would not be being the first black female president of an NFL team and there not being any others for the next 10 to 15 years. Or it's really truly being able to open doors to allow other people to have the same opportunities and a seat at the table. But you will soon have people that say it's because of you. That would be a, a, a tremendous blessing. Donya Backus, CBS News, Las Vegas.